Welcome dears, I am here to ask you a question. How does Russia condemn US sanctions on the Arctic LNG2 project, asserting harm to global energy security, international projects, and its LNG market goals? Russia has accused the United States of jeopardizing global energy security by imposing sanctions on the Arctic LNG2 project. The Russian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Maria Zakharova labeled Washington's move as unacceptable and characterized the impact on large international commercial projects like Arctic LNG2, emphasizing their influence on the energy balance of multiple nations. According to Zakharova, the sanctions reflect a destructive role played by the U.S. and global economic security is it allegedly prioritize its own interest over maintaining stability in the energy sector. Arctic LNG2 is a pivotal project for Russia's ambitions to increase its share of the global liquefied natural gas market from 8% to a fifth by 2030 to 35. The sanctions imposed by the US have resulted in the suspension of participation by key partners from China, Japan, and France who collectively hold 40% of the project. Project developer Never Tech declared force measure on LNG supplies impacting the production timeline. Russia contends that such measures impede its progress toward becoming a major player in the global energy market. In response to the sanctions, Russia highlights its success in swiftly finding new markets in Asia, particularly China and India. For for its oil exports. The article suggests that Russia is banking on income from Asian energy customers to support its military efforts in Ukraine. This underscores Russia's resilience and adaptability in navigating global energy dynamics despite facing international sanctions aimed at limiting its financial capabilities amid the conflict in Ukraine. The article shifts focus to the military situation in Ukraine, where Russian forces allegedly utilize attack drones and overnight raid. Ukrainian authorities claim to have successfully shot down a significant number of Iranian made drones deployed by Russia. The use of advanced technology in the conflict highlights the evolving nature of warfare and the challenges faced by Ukraine in defending against such attacks. The report concludes by addressing the ongoing human toll of the conflict in Ukraine. More than 10,000 civilians have lost their lives since Russia's full-scale invasion, with recent casualties occurring both near the front lines and the areas far behind. The UN Human Rights Office underscores the significant impact of the conflict on civilians' populations raising concern about the humanitarian crisis resulting from the prolonged hostilities. It's enough. Wait for the next update.